outside of some movie. Blue cheese, I swear I'm addicted to blue cheese. I gotta stick to this paper like blue sleep. Bitch, I'm by my chicken like it's a two piece. You can have your bitch back, she a groupie. She just swallow all my kids in a two seat. Swagged out, familiar, we bringing them gas out. I still got some racks stuffed in the trap house. Off the 42, I'm blowing her back out. I'm back out. Bullshit, spin back with a full clip. They say I'm with a full clip. And my shooters, they shooting. I won't take it, they do it. Oh my god. Hey guys, what is good? Welcome back. Um, if you've watched my last vlog, you'll know I'm, on, I'm at the airport and I'm on my way to. Hang on, I may need to get some snacks and some water. I used to get this all the time. Tell me your figure. I used to, oh, smell. Let me get one and I'm coming back. Okay, how rude. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Unique. Um, if you watched my last vlog, you know that I was on my way out. All right, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna first find my gate, get situated, then I'll sit down and I'll speak to you. I'm watching guys and I think I'm gonna probably get some food because I think I have at least 50 minutes to play with. They've still not announced the gate and I don't know when I get there, how I'm gonna be situated, how am I gonna eat. Um, I'm gonna be in like a a self-catering apartment and I'm gonna have to go buy food and stuff but I don't know if I'm gonna get the time to do it today so I'm thinking I should just like grab something solid to eat now so at least when I get there I don't feel sick or anything so yeah I'm I'm sure I can get something down me in 40 minutes do you know what? let's stop debating it let's just go do it I saw Frankie's and Benny's I can probably get some pasta or I don't know something I love when I'm out vlogging and people stare. I've got over it now, I'm just like, I don't care. Look if you wanna look. It's going on YouTube for people to see anyway. I need so I'm gonna quickly see what I can get to eat without making it long. So guys, I still haven't told you where I'm going, right? So you do know I'm going there for work. And so usually I was gonna go there for a week and then when, in the Easter break I was gonna come back home and then if I like it I, I was gonna go back but the lady went and booked me three tickets so she's locked me in so she's booked me tickets in out for the Easter holiday and in again so I saw what she did there but I don't know we'll see let's see how it goes when we get there still haven't told you where I'm going yet but you'll know soon I may have changed my mind and put it in the title I don't know who knows we'll see anyway I'm gonna order something to eat quickly guys if you're a content creator and you struggle with recording in public because people are staring at you. I always say to myself, like, I don't know these people. I never have to see them again. Who cares? Because I used to have this fear when I just started like vlogging, but I'm at the point now, like, you could be staring at me, talking to my camera. I'm gonna stare right back at you. I don't care. So that's just a good mindset to like have. Just think, I don't know these people. They don't know me. So what if they look? I never have to see them again. Who cares? You know. Anyway, I've just ordered. Um, margarita pizza and a brownie and ice cream i've asked them to put the pizza in takeaway box so i can take it with me i'm gonna eat ice cream and brownie now because i can see the the board over there so i can keep an eye when they announce the gate because <laughs> i can't afford to miss this flight if i miss this flight i'm screwed they're expecting me to turn up at work tomorrow morning and that's another palaver because i don't even know where i'm going i don't know about the buses i don't know about anything in this place you know They've brought the pizza in a big box. I mean, I didn't want to take this on the plane, but I was hoping for something smaller. We'll see. I'm so greedy, guys. I've got this 
brownie and ice cream but how I see it I might as well eat now and before when I get there I don't really have to worry about what to eat straight away I can figure stuff out so you guys I'm just sat here waiting for them to announce the gate then to board and stuff where I'm going I wouldn't say I'm completely excited well I'm not excited at all to be honest but I'm always down for new experiences and because the way certain stuff are ordained and fall into place for me like I know it's just alignment and I just go with it um, because I know that the universe thrust it at me for a reason and I know I'm always protected and so yeah I'm not like it's not somewhere I would pick myself up and go but at the end of the day I'm going there for work and I'm going there because they've made a very lucrative offer that I couldn't resist and they want me like yesterday so I was like okay cool and, and another thing is like where I'm going I don't know if I'm gonna see black people and that kind of scares me <laughs> that kind of scares me because I don't know I'm, I'm just gonna test it out you know so we'll see I'm just play it by ear at the minute I'm, I'm open I've got a positive mindset I know I'm protected I know I'm you know everything happens for a reason anyway I'll see you when I'm on the flight and then I'll see you when I land and got situated I'll probably just do the vlog the whole journey because I'm a little bored and I've got nothing else to do I've got no one to talk to but you lot so technically you're not talking bad but you know anyway another thing what is going on with this British weather like we're almost at the beginning of April I've not seen not one drop of spring like it's just rainy and not even the cherry blossoms which I look forward to every spring it's just rainy everything oh yeah guys by the way I failed to mention um, this is the color that I went over my hair with which is meant to be chocolate not quite chocolatey to me it looks more like a color 30 I'm still not feeling it but at the end of the day I don't have time at the minute to do it and it doesn't look as orange as it did yes um, when I did it, it doesn't look like rusty, that rusty orange that I just hate. So I guess I'm just gonna have to work with this for now. Um, I'm wearing my shades because I've got bags under my eyes, huge bags, because I did not sleep last night because how unorganized I was. So yeah, anyway, bye again. <laughs> just landed guys um, the weather isn't too far off from where I'm coming from there's like no reception to check me in right and hang on they literally you literally just come in on your own and they've left the keys on here <laughs> No, I'm going to have to sit down and talk to you guys just so far, my impression of this place. Hang on, let me just quickly close this. How do I do this? Can you see me there? Let me go find where the light is in here. I'm going to give you guys a, a tour in a minute, but let me just... Just arrived and let me just give you my first impressions and stuff. So, the guy from the airport just dropped me off. And... Um, Everything here, basically guys, when I got to the airport, do you know when you get to the airport usually like, they'll stop and check your passport and stuff. Like nobody checks anything, you literally just, you literally just walk in. I'm trying to turn that heating on. I've literally never seen anything like that before. Like I was looking and the custom guy's there in the corner and you literally just walk in. Like it didn't ask you for your passport, it don't care, don't check, don't search, nothing. I've never seen anything like it. And then I'm staying in a self-catering apartment and basically there was no reception or anything. Um, you just meant to find your apartment, the doors open, you come in, the keys on the table, you do it. That's one thing I've noticed because before I came here, I've started to, I started to look online. By the way, I'm in Guernsey because I can't keep this going any longer. 
I'm in Guernsey. It's a Channel Island and it's in between the UK and France, but it's closer to the French coast. So a lot of the names and stuff here is French, but there's a lot of English people here as well. Um, and some people here like, like the people who are um, from Guernsey, like they usually speak like something called Patois. So it's like a mixture of English and French, something of the sort. Anyway, I've noticed here like they have a very like um, trusting type of, I can't find my verbiage for this right now. Like for instance, there isn't much, uh, there's a lot of like people leaving stuff out. Like it's different if someone's selling fruits, they'll leave the, the fruits out and you just take what you want and put the money in the box. Just like how we just walked through the airport, just how we just walked in this apartment, nobody to check you in, check nothing over. So it seems like it's a very honest place. Um, um, a guy came up to me at the airport and he was asking me, oh, are you do you feel you're a YouTuber? I told him no. I usually just, just because I know I'm here on business and I know it's a small place, I just, yeah, I just told him no. Because he's like, oh, I would have followed you. I said, no, I just film content for a hobby. But anyway, he was born here, but he's from the UK as well. So like he was just telling me, oh, you love it here. It's really nice. So it's a very small island. You know, as the guy in the taxi was saying, like you can literally go around the island in an hour and stuff. Um, anyway, it's about nearly five o'clock. Um, I don't, I'm supposed to reach, I'm supposed to get to work tomorrow for half nine. How I'm going to do that, I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to get there. Apparently everything's expensive here. Taxis, everything's expensive. So I don't know how, I'm, apparently the bus is cheap though. He was like 75 pence for a bus ride. So I was like, okay, cool. But they come every half an hour and there's no actual physical bus stops. There's just like, he said something written in the road. Anyway guys, I'll take you on the journey, we'll figure it out together, but let me give you a quick um, room tour. And another thing is, this place where I'm staying, it sleeps up to three people. So if I decide that I like it and I'm coming back, I might just invite over the kids for like one of the bank holidays and stuff. Because I'm in a massive place right now, it's a self-catering apartment and yeah, I'm on my ones. So let me show you around quickly from the entrance, come in. So this is a tour of the apartment, you come in through these doors right here there's like a little decking area out here and this is like the main lounging area so it's just got a big window there chair there chair center table i think that could be i think that could be a fold out bed it looks like it and then there's a telly there on the wall never mind my stuff my suitcase and my coat this area is open planned and um, we'll get to that area soon. The first room right here is my bedroom and again you can open these doors to go out on the deck in and yeah. I'm just doing this over again guys. I did it when I just got here but I was moving the camera too quickly so that's why all my stuff's already packed out. So this is like two single bed joined together, quite simple. And then we've got this kitchen area, which is really, really good. Um, I think there's an oven and a grill. Um, we've got a big dining table, um, electric cooking hub. And then you've got the refrigerator here, freezer there. And then washing machine with a dishwasher, microwave, and just all those covered storage, um, kettle toaster, all that good stuff. And then it leads into here where we've got shower and toilet. It's nothing fancy, it's just standard. Full length mirror there. And then there's another shower and toilet here. And, and there's a second bedroom, which is not in use, but hopefully when my family comes over to visit, they can stay here. So yeah, that's it basically, guys. Let me put these lights back off. So 
So let me get myself kind of packed out and then kind of just have a look around, see if there's any shops, see where the bus stop is, see how I'm going to commute tomorrow, just trying to figure all of that out. First impression is it seems so good so far. Everybody seems friendly. Um, it has a feel of, I don't know, it has a feel of like one of those European place, but a little touch of English with a little touch of French it's weird but yeah anyway let me call home and tell everybody that I've arrived safely and even the Wi-Fi like the Wi-Fi there's no passwords that's how you know like wow apparently though the guy I was speaking to at the airport he was saying that there's a lot of millionaires here he was like the cheapest house here is half a million I was like wow so the, the taxi guy was telling me as well that there's a lot of local people um moving out because they're finding the cost of living here too expensive so apparently there's a lot of millionaires here so yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see anyway let me get situated guys i need to at least see what's out there so i'm trying to like i'm trying to unpack guys you know what my mom said to me she was like bring some food and stuff just just in case because you not know where the shops are and stuff look what unique packs as food Shredded wheat. <laughs> Some tea bags. Two bar of chocolate. And what else? I think I put a pot noodle in here. I'm sure I did. <laughs> this is the food I brought. <laughs> Oh my God, guys, we're gonna have to try and figure it out. And this place looks like, I can't even see people. Like, am I on this island alone? I don't know. Anyway, let me try and pack some of this stuff out and then I'm gonna walk out there. Food. To the kitchen we go. At least I've still got the leftover pizza from Frankie's and Benny's in my bag. Tea bags, now I need some tea. Now I need some uh, oat milk. I hate that tablecloth, it's horrible. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping, was okay, so what? Someone hits a block up, I tell you if it was us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too flush. Say my day's the number, but I keep waking up. You know what I wish I did? I wish I rented a car because they drive on the exact same side as the UK. The only problem I can see so far is the roads are tiny. They're like, do you know when you drive in the UK and you've got like really tiny country roads to the point you have to pull on the pavement? Like Jamaica roads, like you have to pull on, pull on the pavement to let someone else by. They don't have motorways, they don't have A roads, the roads are tiny, but they drive on the left hand side. And I'm thinking I should have just rented a small car. And I think I'm gonna look into it because this bus commute is not the one for me. And I figure like if it's really small, I could just use my, my sat nav, my map, to get me around with a car. So I may look into rent, rent a car rather than getting the bus. I don't wanna be standing at the bus stop, even though probably getting the bus and stuff would probably be a good way to like figure out what's around me, but if I do come back, I think I'm going to rent a car. Anyway, I'm done packing. Let me just pop outside now and see what's going on out there. So I'm just going to walk out there to figure out what's going on around me because I don't know what I'm surrounded by. Um, I've realised that the island's very windy, so more than likely, um, I'm probably not going to speak over clips when I'm outside. I'm probably going to have to do voiceover just in case there's lots of wind going in the mic. Seem like they've put me in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> can't even see anyone to ask anything what the hell is life who do i ask i'm liking the lions at the door the house is, is i don't know what to say this place, place reminds me of to be honest i don't know what it's a mixture of everything because this doesn't this doesn't really look very uk God, I can feel the rain drizzling. Is this some kind of practical joke? Guys, I can't even see not one person to ask anything. Don't tell me they found like some apartment out in the sticks. 
where nothing is local to me. I can't even see a local shop. The hell? Just found a, a lovely British man who's just showed me where a co-op is. It's drizzling with rain. There's a co-op um, about 10 minutes down the road. Um, he said that this side is quite dead. He said to get the bus and go into the town down there. So we'll figure it out. But anyway, I hope you can hear me. If not, I'm going to have to voice over. Let's go to the co-op and let's get some milk and stuff. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh. So as I'm walking to the shop, the rain started chucking it down. There goes my my hot press. I had to turn back because I had my my rucksack with me and it's got like my laptop and it's got this camera in there. I've been meeting lots of nice people though. First impression is people are very friendly and a lot of the people that I've come across so far are from the UK. There was a guy riding a cycle and he was showing me where the co-op is. So there's a co-op down the road. And then he's, they were saying that there's a restaurant called Krabby's. I was trying to figure out my route to work tomorrow. And he's like, it's a bit tricky from where I'm from. So he says, just get the bus and whatever. So I might just go out there early, so. But it start chucking it down with rain. I still do want to go to the shop to pick up some bits, but the co-op is a good like 10 minute walk. Oh my God, look at my press. Like I spent so much time doing this. I should have just come over here with braids. Let's see if they've got a dryer because I can't handle my hair when it gets like this too much. I bet they've not got any hair dryer anywhere. Yeah, the guy was just saying that it's going to be tricky. Look at me, guys. Drenched. Drenched, drenched, drenched. What's in there? Oh, please tell me you've got a hair dryer. No hair dryer, guys. But yeah. At least I figured out where the co-op is where I can get some food. Oh, my hair. What a flop. What a flop. All right, I'm going to... Why would they not have hair dryer? Like... This is not the one. Um, let me go dry myself up and then. Oh my God, and now the sun wants to come out, look. Right, I'm gonna dry myself up and then wait for the rain to stop, then I'm gonna go out there again. Not happy about my hair, cause once my hair start going like this and frizzy, it gives hell. So let me go tie it up and see if I can let it dry on its own in a bun. I don't know if I'm all of this. Like... And Frankie's and Benny's have got so dead. Like that pizza was so dead. I know it's just margarita, but Frankie's and Benny back in the days was good. Everything since COVID, it's just not. I don't know, it's just not hitting. Still got more left over. So, that's dinner. Oh, shit. Okay guys, so, I said I wasn't gonna go out again, but the rain stopped eight o'clock it's kind of dark but i know where the shop is i'm thinking let me attempt mission one more time at least tomorrow morning i'm not just gonna be like completely blindsided and just not have any idea what's out there in fact i'm here talking it's getting dark let me run i'm gonna run let's go i think this is what they mean guys there isn't a physical bus stop it's just written there in a little sign Same over there. So this is just like the sea view um, across the road. Mm -hmm. And I'll check with him mm -hmm. what time, what time uh, he's going in. And what is the a second Yannick I've met in my life. Oh, you've met another Yannick? Yeah, she was madly in love with me. Oh God, really? Yeah, and I didn't know about it. <laughs> was she French? She's uh, half French. Half uh, French, oh, okay. No, no, Yannick. Oh, yeah, oh my God. That was a broken heart. <laughs> Guys, so we tried and we failed a second time. 
um by the time i got down there first of all it's dark as hell out there there's no street lights um and then there was a gentleman standing at the seaside close to where the co-op was but i couldn't see where it is because it's so dark um so i was asking him direction and he said it closed at eight o'clock so i was a bit annoyed by that but um he was drinking a can of beer and he was on the phone he came off the phone and he started talking to me very chatty lovely um guy and then he's staying in the same kind of complex as i'm saying he's just around the corner oh he was such a character so we're trying to figure out like the best way for me to get to work tomorrow um we figured that if i take a taxi it's going to be like 20 pounds which i don't want to do that so i want to think about like could i rent a car or something so I'll, I'll do that when I get there tomorrow, I'll, I'll start asking questions. So he's trying to help me out and he said there's another guy that's on this, um, around the corner as well that is going to go where I'm going tomorrow and he could give me a lift. But this guy was so funny, at first I was a bit apprehensive because he was, you know, a guy and whatever but I, I feel people, energy and spirit out and he seems so harmless, he, he was just a bit pissed and he was just cracking me up, he was like, because uh, I was, mo was moaning about the pavements and the street lights, he's like, oh, it's fucking Guernsey and stuff. I think he's from Essex. Um, so I've, I've come across a lot of people from the UK so far and it's quite comforting. Um, so, you know, on the way walking back from the shops, which I didn't get anything and he was like, oh, let me give you some milk and stuff. And I was like, oh no, I don't drink cow's milk. I wanted to get like non-dairy and fruits and stuff, but he was like offering me tea bags and stuff, bless him. And he was like, um, oh, I don't know. He's probably trying to help me. Like, how am I going to get to work? He's like, you know, I, I'm feeling a little bit altruistic. Let me... Should I just lend you my car? I don't know if I'm deranged or... I was like, maybe you are deranged. <laughs> I was like, no, I won't take your car. But anyway, he made the phone call um, and then the guy's going where I'm going tomorrow. So he's going to give me a lift. He said to ring him before half eight in the morning. So I'm going to get get up early tomorrow. And then, I don't know, I'm going to figure my way out. Because they've put me on this side where it's meant to be like dead. And I'm going all the way on the other side where it's like really busy and stuff. The buses... They're saying the buses run every 30 minutes. I've not seen one bus since I've been out there. So I know I'm not standing out there waiting for no bus. Like, you can't see no timetables. You just have to guess. No, I'm not doing that. So um, when I get a lift tomorrow, I'm going to figure something out. I think what I may do, if it's feasible, I may just rent a car for the week. And then I may consider taking my car over here if I'm going to stay until the summer. So anyway... I can't even be bothered anymore. I've tried. Thank God I've got water. I've got pizza and a pot of noodles. I'll survive the night. Anyway, guys, I'm just going to chill. I've got some phone calls to make, some emails to check, some editing to do. I'll check in tomorrow. Hey, guys. It is... Let's turn this down a little bit. It's 12.46. I've just put on a documentary on Netflix, David Attenborough. I love David Attenborough. Oh my God. Does anybody else like David, At David Attenborough? I love his voice. His voice is so soothing. He's the best narrator ever. Like he can literally read the dictionary to me. Anyway, I'm going to speak to them tomorrow and see if they can help me come up with some solutions. But taxi, they don't have Uber here. Taxis are no-no. Um, car rental, now I'm going to rule that out because I'm not paying £50 a day. So I'm going to hear what their suggestion is. Maybe there's someone I can car share with and stuff. I don't know. Anyway, I am tired. And this is why I had my shades on all day today because when I don't sleep, under my eyes get really puffy. So I really should try and get some sleep. I'm going to turn that off now and leave David Attenborough to put me to bed. But yeah. I'm tired. Good night, guys. Good night. Hey guys, what is good? New rising, grand rising, all that jazz. So basically, <clears throat> it's 
12 minutes past eight in the morning. Um, I spoke to the guy that um, I got the number of last night. I texted him this morning and I just said to him, I came last night and I'm and um, where I'm going and stuff. And I asked him if he could text me back and he says, yeah, he's gonna give me a, a lift and stuff. So I'm just gonna go with it for now. But anyway, he was ever so lovely. He said, he's not gonna be where I'm based, but he's close by, so he's gonna give me a, a, a lift. I've had no breakfast. I got up and showered. Um, I've got no breakfast because, you know, this is the only food I have at the minute. Um, I was gonna have that, but I don't, feel, I don't fancy it, so I'm not gonna eat it. But I found the manual yesterday. Well, it was always there, but the, the importance of reading, because had I read the manual yesterday, I would have realized everything um for instance the shop that it closed at eight o'clock it's got everything in there from like telling you where you can eat where you can buy food like all that stuff look so literally and basically um i emailed them to get me a hair dryer as well and yeah so i'm gonna get going now because the guy's probably waiting for me so i'm gonna lock up and get going see if i can get a hot drink or some breakfast or a coffee outside or something See how my first day go. I've got a feeling that I'm going to need to get a car because I don't... Me and public transport don't get along. Anyway, guys, we'll check in again. I haven't got a bad word to say against him. That he's, he's a bloody nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Just Oh, wonderful. it's gorgeous. I can imagine on a lovely day how nice this is. Well, last weekend I had a friend over. Um, he's split up with his missus and he was a bit down so I said come over and we walked up the coast one day and down the coast we did 22 miles over the two days mm -hmm. and it's just wonderful and as soon as you get any sun the whole place is it lights up awesome. I can imagine because the water is pretty turquoise as well yeah it is it's, it's amazing the only thing I'm a bit apprehensive about here is the roads how narrow they are yeah. I'm like, oh my god, because I'm from the Caribbean, I'm from Jamaica, and we have narrow roads, but this yeah. beats our narrow roads, to be fair. Um, well, I, I didn't expect my clutch to go on my car, but I thought what would happen would be that I'd burst a tyre on the kerb, because I'm always hitting the kerb. That's what the taxi driver said to me yesterday, he's like, you spend most of the time driving on the kerb, <laughs> then on the yeah. road here. That's true. Hey guys, what is good? I've just got in from work. I'm exhausted first day learning stuff walking around trying to figure my way out so i figured that when i go home i'm coming back with my car i'm going to come back with my car i'm going to ram it up with shopping and petrol and come back with my car most of the car on the island are pieces of crap anyway and so is my car so hey ho it will fit in i just went to iceland to pick up some shopping the guy who dropped me at work this morning was ever so nice to drop me back home he's offered to give me a lift every morning for this week and then when I come back, I'll just, I'll have my car then. Anyway, went food shopping, absolutely appalled at just how atrocious the price is for stuff is here. Like I got this bag, this Iceland bag I got, came up to about 30 pounds. Like I could have gone in little and had two massive bag of shopping for that. I'm gonna show you what I got. Oh, they brought, my, they brought me the hair dryer as well, so that's good. So if I wanna wash my hair over the weekend, I can. Cause I've got my straightener. So got me hair dryer. All good stuff, all good stuff. Uh, now I need to figure out where like the pans are. Now I need a frying pan. Cause I'm gonna, like everything was so expensive. I just got like stuff to make. I got breakfasty stuff like beans. Oh my god. Oh look, yeah, 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 cool. So we've got cooking stuff, good. Right, so let me put you down here. One sec. I can have a cup of tea. Yes, honey. Okay. So this is all the stuff I got from. Oh from Iceland so I've got some eggs my favorite Greek yogurt I don't know where to put you I need to put you somewhere higher hang on let me put you up 
at you. I don't know how to work that electric cooker though. I'm used to gas cooker. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Can you sit here? You can. Okay. I've got a bottle of water. I've got some bagel. Some mushrooms. Beans. One box of oat milk. I can have my little bit of cereal that I brought over. Got some salt. Some sugar. I hate white sugar by the way, but mate. Everything is just peak expensive. Bag of onions, some oranges, some coleslaw. I wanted to get some jacket potato, but I didn't see any big potatoes. So I don't know what I'm gonna eat that with yet. Um, some cooking oil and vegetable oil. I hate vegetable oil. I love sunflower oil. Was not spoiled for choice there. They don't have um, Lidl, Aldi, Asda, Tesco, Sainsbury, they don't have any of that. They have uh, two Iceland and they're like really tiny. Waitrose and Marks and Spencers. And co-op, that's it. Co-op, you don't even want to go in the co-op. Ridiculous, everything's ridiculously priced. I've got washing up liquid, but there's already some there. So I'm bringing this home. Um, two cans of beans, I've got cheese, black pepper. And I've got some Guernsey butter. Apparently, they're known to have the best, like, butter and milk and cream. Just the best cows. Guernsey, Guernsey and Jersey. I don't know. So, that's all I got, guys. And that came up to £31. Let me see what is atrocious on this bill. Vegetable oil. £3.50. Can you imagine? Livid. Oranges, £2.99, livid. But then saying that, oh my God, my yoghurt, £3.5, livid. I'm sure these are like £1 something in Asda. I could be wrong. But saying that, like how expensive these are, like things are kind of, adding up in the UK as well, they, the, the price is going up. There's swings and roundabouts with this place, like they don't pay, I don't think they have like MOT or vehicle tax here. Their car insurance is very low because the crime rate is so, is zero. Um, there's no council tax, rent is ridiculous, but the government like gives them like some kind of, um, there's a word for it but i can't figure the word but some kind of credit towards their rent some kind of percentages towards their rent um everywhere's in like walking radius so you don't need to spend a lot on commutes because there's no trains there's only buses or cars um so i don't know food's expensive because the tiny island not much is produced here well nothing's produced here. everything's imported but the fact you can go back and forth um with your vehicle like to UK mainland on the ferry and back over like you can save a lot of money then so what I'm gonna do is like I'm just gonna ram my car up of food when I'm coming back and drive on the ferry and come over because I need my car to commute to work because if it wasn't for this guy helping me I don't know how I'd get to work this week because where I'm situated the bus come every hour and it'll be like two buses and I'm not trying to stand out there in that wind and no I'm not doing it so that's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to round up my car with food, come back. Um, and yeah. But other than that, it's, it, I don't know, there's perks to it. It's just swings and roundabouts. As I said, renting is expensive, but there's help with that. Food is expensive. Um, but the wages here are extremely high. That's one thing I've noticed. If you look at any kind of profession, whether it's, I don't know, doctor, nurses, teacher. If you look at the starting rate here compared to the UK, like here is here the rate is here uk is down here so there's that as well anyway guys i'm hungry and i've got another early start tomorrow thank god it's friday i've got the weekend to chill out and i'm gonna pop down into kobo and just go have a look around and i'll bring you guys some vlog and stuff but i'm gonna make some breakfast food because that's all we've got to eat and 
there's no fast food chain here no mcdonald's no uber eats none of that stuff like none of that stuff there's only like little chippy there's the odd chip shop here and there little kiosk that sells ice cream on the beach and stuff the odd restaurants the odd pub dotted here and there no fast food chain um and then even the chip shop like just to get like i don't know chips and gravy and stuff like that six pounds unheard of in the uk you wouldn't be paying that so what i've figured out is you're better off cooking so yeah anyway let me make some food I cannot figure this electric cooker out for the life of me so I'm just trying to look at this manual just touch the circle next to the key symbol this will unlock the controls turn the hub on using the on and off button circle select the plate and oh I'm so hungry for this why is nothing working Why ain't nothing working? I'm sure it's on. Oh, then you touch the hub. So I'm gonna use that one, which is. That one. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's doing it! Yay! Let's go. So guys, this is my dinner. Literally sauteed mushrooms, bagels, eggs and beans. Hi there. Hello. It's Saturday morning and I'm going to go out into the, um, what do they call it? The town, like the main area. I've got some stuff to do like my gift gaff sim card won't work over here and i don't know why and i can't text or like my phone's only operating on data at the minute let me close this door so i can't open the curtain this way so yeah they brought me a a blow dryer so i'm gonna see if i can like salvage what's left of my damp hair um and get ready i did it's me and the guy that's going out. He's giving me a lift. He's offered me a lift. Oh, he's offered me his car. Someone trust me with their car. I'm so flattered. Anyway, I'm going to um, blow dry this hair, go shower, get myself ready. And we're going to head out there. And I'll try to get as much footage as I can out there. So I need to go to the phone shop. I need to stop at the leisure centre. Um, I need to stop. I need to get some tissue and some other bits, like for dinner later. Um, and that's about it. Just gonna have a little wonder about but anyway, it's like I've got an hour to get ready And I'm gonna do makeup and all of that jazz. So let me just stop yapping How does this work? And I don't like these blow dryer. I like the one with the comb for the black hair. I can't do this. I'm not a professional. But let's try again. Why is it so damn hard to turn on to? as straight as I'm gonna get it I'm gonna put the top up anyway so I only want the back straight I'm gonna do half up half down look at me ginger ninja 
Anyway guys, let me go get ready and by the time I'm ready and stuff, I'll check in before I go. Guys! <laughs> no, honestly. <laughs> I'm gonna have a BF. So I've just straightened, as you guys saw, I blow dried my hair, I've just re-straightened it. The sun was out, got all excited, like, yeah, we're gonna go out, we're gonna explore. Really, look at this. We are going in the car, but I do expect to come out and walk around and this hot and cold, this wet and dry, wet and heat, this is not good for my hair. <sighs> Maybe I'll braid before I come back. I don't know. We'll see. We just quickly ran to the co-op um because they close at eight o'clock and i was gonna go tomorrow but with this place the weather's so unpredictable so we're just running um back from the co-op and i just stopped to take in the sunset it's just gone down but it's still so pretty Do you want to say hello? Hi there. <laughs> Good evening. Dobri vechor. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. <no. laughs> you're well there. No, it's all right. It's This is a, a tripod, so it's like yeah. a, you can set up and shoot. Well, I stuff. like the way your image is very, very light, so it's adjusting to the yeah, light. It's, it's actually rather dark. Because you put it on auto and then it, it, it's got like yeah. different settings on there. Yeah, yeah it's quite it's good, really isn't it? It's really good because it looks like the afternoon. Yeah, it's good. I'm into this stuff. Oh yeah, I, I trained to teach drama media. Yeah. I'm making it up. No, I don't think you're making it up. You're definitely a drama teacher, Kev. You yeah, should. I, they you, found that out in the maths department. You belong. <laughs> you definitely belong in the theatre, Kev. Oh yeah, yeah. You do. No, no, no. The doors I was telling you about that was a starry theatre in Krakow. No, oh, was it? Hey guys, so it's like been, when did I get my first lot of shopping? Two days ago? Anyway, um, I had to get some more shopping so I just ran to the co-op down the road to get some shopping. Um, oh, the guy you just saw in the clip before this, staying in one of the apartments here, I met him the first night actually. Oh, he's a lovely guy, but he's always tipsy and a bit drunk, but a very eccentric guy, lovely man, full of stories to tell. Anyway, we ran to the co-op um, because it was, the co-op closed at eight o'clock. Everything shuts here early. Everything operates on time in here. Like, for instance, say if you wanted to go out and eat on a Saturday, you can't just turn up at a restaurant four o'clock. You have to go there between like 12 and two 
um i don't i think most places are closed on a sunday and because the weather's so unpredictable i was gonna leave it until tomorrow but then i thought you know what oh my hands are getting tired let me put this here i was gonna get like what i need tomorrow morning but then i thought you know it's a sunday i've got to prepare for work on the monday um and i was a bit bored i thought let me just leg it down there and then when i went out he was legging it down there too to go get his wine and stuff so we we kind of ran down there together i will never ever ever complain again about the cost of food in the uk because the cost of food here ridiculous and i understand why like food is expensive here and rent and house price is expensive here but other stuff balance out like they don't have tv license council tax they don't have MOT, they don't have road tax, insurance, car insurance is extremely low because there's 0% crime. So check some balances, it balances out in, in, in other areas like a trade-off. So, so far everything's been going good. I'm going to wrap this vlog up I think. Everything's been going well. Let me move you back over. Um, finding my way around, um, I've realised this is literally a tiny island. like. I'm not talking Jamaican small, this is tinier than Jamaica, like you can go around in an hour and a half and it's literally an island where it seems like everybody knows everyone, like I keep saying, I keep seeing the same people around, <laughs> so eventually everybody's gonna know me, you know, like it's, it's only one of these faces going around. Um, I was scared coming at first because I thought it was just gonna be predominantly white, I thought it was gonna have like backwards attitude. If I'm honest, that's not been the case. Most people have just been very friendly. It is predominantly white, but I've seen, I've seen enough black people here. Not a lot, but I've seen, I've seen enough. Um, so yeah, it's not weird at all. I don't get the stares, nothing like that happens. Um, most people are friendly. What I like about here, it seems like a very trustworthy place. Like, I don't feel the need to even lock my door. Like, I can leave my stuff and walk away and come back and it's still there. So I do like that here, it feels safe. Um, I, I reckon you're better off coming here with a car. Um, the bus services are not great. Um, and then just to get to most places, I think you just need a car. Even though the bus, all the buses go around the whole island. Other than that, um, oh, the weather. The weather is, we, you thought British weather was unpredictable? This is some, today we had sun, hail, snow, sleet, you name it. So the weather's very unpredictable. And another thing is I've noticed that my hay fever's kicking in already. It wasn't kicking in when I was in the UK, but it's starting to kick in here. So I was asking um, some people and they were like, yeah, the hay fever is really bad here. It's worse than the UK, which is quite surprising because I'm like, well, they're surrounded by sea. Shouldn't it be cleaner air? I don't know. Maybe they have some different pollen here. I don't know. But other than that, everything's been great. I'm settled in. I've got some shopping to get me through most of my days next week. I don't think I'll be buying anything else before I leave. Went out today. Um, I didn't vlog much because I had company and we were just like talking and looking around and trying to find stuff. So you, you'll see, you saw footage of that. Um, yeah, so that's it guys. I think I'm going to end this particular vlog here and I'll start a new one. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it's helping you if you are thinking of coming here or even thinking of coming here to work. I hope my experience, me sharing my experience is helping in some way, shape or form. Or just exposing you to just, you know, other places and how they live and how things are there. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, drop me a comment. Any tips if you've been here before or anything you'd like to share, talk to me in the comment section guys. Take care. Bye.